Alrighty guys, before we get into talking about Tesla stock here today, what happened with Tesla stock price here today and talking about Tesla stock in general, I'm gonna share my personal five-year price target for Tesla stock. Best case scenario, worst case scenario, everything in this video. But before we get into any of that, look at the hoodie. Do you guys like the hoodie? It just came in like right before I started recording this video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta go ahead and take a picture of this. So I'm not wearing it today, uh, but look for it to make a guest appearance on the channel within the next week or so. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that hoodie. Smash the thumbs up if you like it, all right? So with that being said, let's start getting into Tesla stock. I mean, look at it, look at it. I mean, that's a crazy day, okay? Tesla stock was down, uh, it finished down, it closed down $152 a share in 36 cents, okay? That's over seven, 15% downward move here today. The stock was down, I believe, over 20% at one point today. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe at one point in the trading day, the stock was down more than 20%. And I believe at one point it was down like close to $200 a share, okay? That's an unbelievable downward move. It definitely, you know, is, is out of the ordinary. And all the moves in regards to Tesla stock very, very recently have been out of the ordinary. But keep this in mind, and this is for context, okay? Let's look at a five five day chart for Tesla stock. You know where the stock was literally like two days ago? Oh, it was at the same price it is at now, $734. That was literally like two trading days ago. So I think that is important to look at a chart like that and realize like even after a massive move down like that, the stock is literally where it was a couple days ago. And this, this happens sometimes, especially to some new folks that get in the market, they see a move down like this and they're like, oh my gosh, this is a massive move down. It's like, dude, Dude, the, the, you realize the stock was trading there like a couple days ago, right? Okay, and that's definitely the situation there with Tesla stock, okay? Now, I mean, the stock just, it went parabolic, obviously, the last couple days. I mean, it was already a crazy fast-moving stock as it was. And then it just went to outer space. It, it took a SpaceX rocket up to outer space, up to Mars, and it just went pew. I mean, look at that. The stock went from literally in the 600s to literally almost $1,000 a share in a couple days' time. Like, it was absolutely absolutely ridiculous, okay? And this was super sketch to me, okay? It was super sketch. Like what transpired over the past, you know, let's say five days was was super, super sketch, and especially over the last three days. Like yesterday I was looking at the bid and ask price, and these, these were so far apart when I was looking at the bid and ask. A lot of times they were several dollars apart. Sometimes they were more than $10 apart. And I've seen some of these scenarios in the past with some stocks that are, are you know, acting abnormally. And I'm talking about the the stock price where it is going up way too much way too fast or down way too much way too fast and in a lot of these situations I see where the bid and ask have these ridiculous spreads like usually it should be very close like within pennies of each other if not within you know a dime or a nickel or a quarter of each other when you're starting to talk about dollars or ten dollars plus in between the bid and ask it's just it's fishy and it's a little sketchy okay I will say that and here today obviously you see what happened with the stock price okay now i have uh basically you see that green circle there up until about there tesla stock was acting what i would say normally okay so the stock moves from the mid 200s and then it has a big spike after their october earnings okay all that is fair game okay you know a lot of people have doubted tesla they come through with some really strong numbers that momentum builds they come out with some more strong numbers and that that whole part there that makes sense okay the stock going from 200 to 500 in my opinion you can definitely you know see why I did that. A lot of people were, had, were very negative on the stock and a lot of people went very, very positive in a short amount of time. When you get that, you're going to see a stock price go up, you know, sometimes double up. And basically Tesla stock did exactly that. Tesla stock doubled up in a, in a matter of a few months. But this, this whole deal over the last few days, it's super sketchy, okay? It is super sketchy. It is super weird. It has manipulation written all over it. I've been in the stock market for 11 or 12 years. I've seen uh, a lot of situations that have had manipulation in it for different reasons. Sometimes it's on the long side, sometimes it's on the short side, sometimes you might think it's an advantage to be a long in these situations, but actually it's a short setup where they'll manipulate then take a price down. I'm not saying that's what happened here with Tesla, but I'm saying if you think that is normal, then you're probably kind of new to the stock market because those type of ridiculous moves up for on no news, okay, this wasn't like earnings came out in a couple days span, like those type of moves are absolutely abnormal and they're absolutely ridiculous. And a 
especially, especially when you take into account the size, the size of Tesla. We're not talking about this as some penny stock, okay? We're not talking about this as some smaller company that has like a $1.2 billion market cap, some teeny stock. This is a massive company with a massive market cap on it of $132 billion, so a very big company. And so a move like today, and a move like the past three or four trading days is not normal. For these type of swings to happen on the back of no news, no big revelations in the stock or something like that, it is not normal. 10, 15, 20% moves. This is type of stuff you could expect from you know a penny stock or some very small cap stock you know after earnings, but not with a company that Tesla size. This is this is you know completely completely abnormal. Okay. Now, if you're wondering what is it like to you know have one of your main stocks go down that much, okay, let's look at the public account here. Okay, this is what it is like when one of those stocks. Now, I could, you know kind of expected this to be honest because it was the stock was acting so abnormally with going up like ridiculous last few days. So I was like, I didn't even necessarily count those as profits, uh, you know, over the past few days. And here today, despite most of my stocks being green, Tesla was down so much that it took the whole account negative $22,000 today. I mean, an absolutely massive move down. But I mean, when your biggest position in the account, which by the way, Tesla is not the, the company I bought for the most shares in. It's just gone up so much that it became the biggest position in the public account, which by the way, everybody can view every single move I make in the market in my private stock group. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. But look at that, guys. I mean, you know, a negative $22,000 move here today. And uh, yeah, that's what happens when one of your stocks is down huge. Uh, good news is, you know, even after that massive hit there, uh, you know, the account's obviously still in the green a little bit, uh, just like $157,000. And then Tesla stock, I mean, even after that massive hit here today, we're still up 222% on that stock. And it is still our top performing stock. And even if it had, let's say two or three more awful days where it's down 10% plus, um, you know, it still would likely be our best performing stock. I did see Elf is up uh, very nicely after hours right now. And that one we're up 138% on. Um, I thought, I think I saw that one up nine or 10%. So we'll see where that one trades out at tomorrow. But neither say Tesla still is our best performing stock. Now, uh, some of the media was trying to say, oh, this is because, uh, you know, coronavirus delays, uh, blah, 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 around Model 3 deliveries. And I can tell you guys, that's just complete BS. Everybody that has any type of money in the stock has known of the risk of coronavirus and the fact that the Tesla factory was closed for a certain amount of time and that might delay earnings. Like, this is no revelation news. Like, basically, Tesla stock was down 17% today for no reason. Just like yesterday, Tesla stock was up massively for no reason. The moves have been super sketch over the past few days. Some of the sketchiest moves I've seen a big cap stock in uh, quite a while. I've been in this game for a long time, okay? Uh, so now I, I want to go ahead and get into my five-year price target for Tesla because we have a lot of people that are throwing around a lot of price targets. So I figured let's go over my five-year price target for Tesla stock. 2025, okay? And I thought this would be pretty cool to talk about here today in this video. And I think, you know, with everything that's been transpiring with Tesla stock over the past, you know, six, seven months of craziness, I thought it would be appropriate to talk about a subject like this here today, okay? Now, real quick, I've seen people's price targets just be ridiculous on, around this stock, okay? I've seen five-year price targets on Tesla stock of zero dollars, meaning literally the company becomes insolvent, goes bankrupt, okay? And I've seen price targets on Tesla stock of $15,000 a share in a five-year span, okay? Um, and both of these are absolutely ridiculous. If anybody tries to tell me they, they think Tesla stock's going to $15,000 in five years, uh, it sounds like a, a long shareholder's wet dream, and at the same time, a short seller's wet dream is the stock goes to zero dollars. Both of those situations are so unbelievably unrealistic, I, I can't even explain it to you. Like, like I, I literally can't even put into words how unbelievably unrealistic those scenarios are. I have some pretty realistic expectations around this stock. Uh, as somebody that's you know looked at the stock for the last I don't know eight or nine years, like since the company went IPO, and someone that's been an actual shareholder for the last you know one to two years, actually in the stock. I have some pretty good, you know, uh, understanding of this stock on a pretty high level. So let me go ahead and discuss my price targets on the stock. And, and I'm going to kind of go through like a worst case scenario, like a good situation for the stock and, and kind of like the best case scenario that I think is realistic for the stock in the next five years. So hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you smash the thumbs up as always. Okay. So my worst case scenario for Tesla stock in five years is $1,000 
a share, okay? Now this would assume a few things that maybe happened, okay? This was to assume that maybe, in, like basically I expect in the next five years, most folks, especially the ones that live in developed countries, that if they go to buy a new vehicle, they are buying an electric vehicle. Like if we just fast forward five years from now, and we're five years from now, the majority of folks out there are, that are going to buy a new vehicle are going to buy a new electric vehicle, not a new ice vehicle. I believe that's gonna you know, it's just be a massive change over the next three to five years. And so with that being said, let's just imagine that maybe that's not the scenario. And maybe in most developed countries around the world, United States, Europe, maybe even in five years, the majority of folks that are going to buy a new car, maybe they're still going for ICE vehicles, okay? That would assume this type of situation. And so that would mean the EV segment is still very niche compared to the ICE automobile segment and even in developed markets, okay? So let's assume that happened, or let's assume like, like Tesla's just like, um, you know, just one of the players in the market in electric vehicles. Like maybe electric vehicles do take off over the next five years, but uh, uh, Tesla isn't like the dominant player. And maybe they lose a bunch of market share and Tesla's just one of the players. And so they lose their competitive lead there or something like that. And maybe like like whatever they have going with autonomous vehicles, maybe that doesn't turn out to be this huge thing. And, and you know, maybe that's just kind of like, they're just in with everybody else. And so they lose their tech advantage there and they become just like another big automobile company. Kind of like you would look at a Toyota or a Volkswagen Volkswagen or General Motors or something like that. So if that's the scenario, and then obviously they have the solar component part of their business as well. So if that's the scenario, then I could imagine the stock being about a thousand dollar stock in five years from now, where it's still a very profitable company, still a company that will have grown a ton over the next five years. Um, but they're not like they're not like the 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 you know the granddaddy of them all when it comes to electric vehicles, okay? And maybe electric vehicles are just slower to kind of roll out in the mass, okay? So that's where I imagine. Tesla stock is kind of like, let's call that the bad scenario, okay? Let's call that the bad scenario, okay? Now, I want to go over um, a good scenario here. I wanna go over a great scenario here, and I wanna go over uh, kind of my best case scenario for Tesla stock in the five-year span, okay? So a good scenario for the stock would be the stock's about you know $1,500 a share in five years from now. And I know with the stock at $700 now, you know, uh, you know, or 750 or wherever the stock's at now, you're looking at this and you're like, man, that's only like a 2X in a five year span. And keep in mind, the stock was like $200, like seven, eight months ago. And so if you're buying in the 200s and their stock goes to $1,500 in a five year span, like you did ridiculously good. Like your outperformance versus the market is on a whole other level because the, the stock market usually doesn't even, you know, come close to double doubling in a five year span. So if you're able to get, you know, uh, you were buying, let's say $200 a share or something like that, you get a seven X or let's say an eight X on your money, like you smash out of the ballpark, okay? But the $1,500, this would assume they're still a very good EV player. Let's say they're the EV market leader. And let's say EVs continue to take market share. They're not selling in mass, but let's say, you know, maybe people are 50-50. If they go to, you know, buy a new car in five years from now, it's like 50% of people are going for the ice and then 50% of people are going for the electric or something like that, okay? If we get to that type of scenario and Tesla's the, the main player in electric vehicles and they don't lose much market share, maybe they lose a little bit, but it's a very slight amount. It's not like a big, uh, you know, a bigger amount like, you know, the bad scenario or something like that. If that's the scenario there, then I can see Tesla stock getting to somewhere around $1,500. They would still be in a very, very profitable company, a company that could be pulling in, you know, anywhere between probably six to maybe $12 billion a year. But if that's a scenario and they can't really, you know, take off with autonomous vehicles and autonomous taxi networks and those sorts of things, then I see that, you know, Tesla stock is kind of being a stock that's valued a little more similarly to like the, the traditional automakers, which are usually, you know, on a valuation basis, just have lower valuations. I don't ever see necessarily Tesla trading at as low as PEs as some of those guys, like a six or a five or something like that. Um, but could I ever see a day if Tesla couldn't, you know, be great at autopilot and autonomous vehicles? Could I see it, you know, potentially being like a $1,500 stock just as a very, very profitable electric vehicle maker? I could definitely see that being a possibility, okay? And so that's kind of a good scenario there. And I know, you know, if somebody bought it $900 and they're thinking, man, five years out, it only goes to 1500 that stinks yeah you know everything's depending upon where you bought at 
you bought it $200, you know, you'd take $1,500, okay? Now, a great scenario for Tesla stock, in my opinion, over the next five years, is uh, the stock reaches about $2,000 a share, okay? So this would mean Tesla is the number one player when it comes to electric vehicles around the world. They have the number one position. Uh, electric vehicles maybe get to a point where, you know, 75% of people that are going to buy a new vehicle are going to buy an electric vehicle at some time. And so then it's like, do you buy a Tesla or do you buy another company that makes electric vehicles? And this is assuming autonomous taxi networks get rolled out in some form for Tesla over the course of the next five years, which I think is a good opportunity for Tesla to be one of the largest players in the world, in my personal opinion, when it comes to autonomous taxi networks. I, if I'm looking out in a crystal ball and I'm kind of viewing and I'm, I'm thinking about the next uh, you know, five to 10 years and who are gonna be the biggest players in autonomous taxi network, in my personal opinion, there, there are two companies that come to mind. One is Tesla and one is Uber. And, and in my personal opinion, everybody's going to be, you know, further back. Waymo, Cruise Automation, those guys, they just don't have the brand, in my opinion. You know, Uber has the brand as far as everybody's used to taking them everywhere. Um, and they're working with a ton of different partners on their side. I think they'll be there. And then Tesla with their phenomenal brand and with the fact that, you know, they, they seem like they're probably more ahead than anybody else when it comes to autonomous vehicles. When I look at that, I'm thinking Tesla has a great possibility of reaching $2,000 a share because the company would be very, very profitable at that stage, but they'd also still have this big story behind them of, look at, we're rolling out autonomous taxi networks and we might be the main player in this market. And so I think from that perspective, a lot of investors would get very, very excited around Tesla stock because they would view this as, oh, this is already a profitable beast. It's already the main player in electric vehicles, but gosh, they have this big opportunity to you know, be a big player in autonomous, you know, Know, taxi networks. And so if that transpires, I can see Tesla stock being about $2,000 stock in a five-year span, okay? Now, my best case scenario, and this is actually what I believe will happen for Tesla stock over the next five years, is I believe Tesla stock will be a $3,000 stock in uh, five years from now. So 2025, I believe Tesla will be around $3,000 a share. Why do I have this conviction that I believe this? And by the way, this price target is what, th these are, I should say, these two price targets are what really got me in the stock. Because when I first started looking at this stock and I really started understanding and started investing in the stock, the stock was either in the $300 range or $200 range. And when I kind of you know did all my calculations and whatnot on what I expect to have happen in the electric vehicle market, how profitable I expect Tesla to be and all those sorts of things, when I ran all that, I was like, I definitely see the stock having a very decent probability of getting to $2,000 or $3,000 a share in the next you know, five years or so, okay? And so we'll run through the scenario, but just so you guys know, that's what really got me in Tesla stock in the end. When I was looking at this at a $200 stock or $300 stock, all I could think was, uh, this is a 10X, this is a multi-bagger, okay? They always call it a 10X multi-bagger, uh, when basically uh, you've got a scenario where you can 10X your money. And when I was looking at the stock in the $200 or $300 range, all I was thinking was this has a real probability of 10xing and so I always like to think about things in terms of risk reward and I was thinking well my risk is uh, Tesla somehow goes bankrupt or something and that's very unrealistic the, the worst case scenario I kind of foresaw for Tesla was maybe um, they just didn't capitalize on, on everything and they were going for or something like that and the company they could never get to profitability and now they're getting to profitability and that profitability is you know getting higher and higher expectations and then for my best case scenario I'm envisioning a stock that's two or three thousand dollars and so I'm like the risk reward here is clearly in my favor in terms of the reward side, okay? So as far as the $3,000 scenario, when I kind of thought about that one, and this is what I actually think is going to happen for Tesla stock. I actually think this will be a $3,000 stock in my personal opinion in five years. And the way I view this personally is I view Tesla being the number one player in electric vehicles around the world. And I believe in some developed markets such as the United States, maybe even in Europe, they're going to have an Apple-esque type market share, which we have not seen for an automaker maybe ever, or certainly not in modern times, where essentially one automaker has, let's say, 40% or 50% of the market share. This is where I think Tesla's going over the next five years, or you know, especially if you look past the five year span. I'm foreseeing a company that in developed markets has a 40 to 50% market share. I foresee a company that, you know, in five years from now will be producing anywhere between probably about two and a half million vehicles a year to maybe even up to like four to five million vehicles 
a year in 2025. And that's, you know, obviously for the threes, uh, that would be the Ys in the market. That would be the cyber trucks in the market. Obviously you have the S and the X, you possibly have a roadster, you have semi and possibly a model two will be in the market. And I think that model two, that more affordable vehicle under the cutting, you know, undercutting a model three could be super intriguing for Tesla, especially in some of the international markets where, you know, if they could get into the twenties with a price point, that's super intriguing. And so, so when I look at that, I foresee a company that would have you know, profitability in the tens of billions. And when I say profitability, I'm really talking about net income. I foresee you know, Tesla, if that scenario plays out, Tesla will have tens of billions of dollars of positive net income on that bottom line. And they will grow into being, if that ends up transpiring, they will grow into, in my opinion, one of the most profitable companies in the entire world. And if that ends up happening, this is super intriguing. And if that ends up happening, Tesla ends up growing into one of the biggest companies in the world. You know, a $3,000 a share, it certainly wouldn't put it at the biggest company in the world, but it would put it up there with all the big dogs where it's like, hey man, you know, you better guys better watch out the next five years from 2020 to 2030 because we might be coming for that number one mantle, okay? Um, so that's where I foresee, and also, you know, autonomous vehicles. I think autonomous taxi network, uh, Tesla has a great opportunity, once again, to be the number one or number two player there. And I think that is gonna be something that really starts to take off, If you know, especially if you're looking at a three to five year, you know, what happens there? I think three to five years out is when that can really start to get rolled out in a real way. And I think, you know, regulation as far as governments will really start to look at this and, and, and kind of look it and be like, you know what, these cars are so so much safer than a human driver that I'd rather have the car drive us around at that point in time. And I think at that point in time, uh, you know, Tesla has not just the growth story and the continuing growth story, but massive, massive profitability of tens of billions of dollars on that bottom line with net income. And obviously over the next five years, Tesla will continue to innovate in my opinion when it comes to everything. And people even talk about, you know, the skateboard effect of, of Tesla where basically uh, the whole bottom of the car would be Tesla and they just sell that to other automakers. That's a whole other big opportunity. So when I look at Tesla, I think they have a great possibility of being a $3,000 stock. And that's why I bought this stock very, very heavily in the 200s and 300s because from a risk reward standpoint, it was just clearly, it was just clearly, you know, in my favor. Now, when the stock was trading at nearly $1,000 yesterday, right? Um, the risk reward, in my personal opinion, is not as attractive because then you're looking at maybe a 2x on your money or a 3x on your money. So it's not quite as appealing. But still, there aren't a ton of stocks out there that if you're looking at a five year span, um, you can really kind of expect, you know, something like, a, you know, a situation where you can two or three X your money in that, you know, Tesla is definitely one of those stocks. And obviously, if it drops back down, I'll be very, very interested in adding my 100 shares back. I can absolutely tell you that uh, to getting back to 300 because now I have about 200 shares roughly. Uh, if it drops back down, I'm going to I'm going to pick back up those other 100 uh, that we sold at 935 yesterday because, uh, you know, obviously with this big opportunity in front and, and if, let's say that stock's trading at 600, especially if it goes back down to the 500, 400 range. Um, you know, after I got out at 935 for those hundred shares, um, you know, with this type of opportunity, it's very, very intriguing from a risk uh, reward standpoint, guys. So that, those are my personal opinions on kind of where I foresee Tesla stock. Zero uh, dollars, completely unrealistic. $15,000 in five years, completely unrealistic. Um, I think these are kind of, in my opinion, kind of the uh, best case scenarios, kind of the worst case scenarios I'm expecting right here because Tesla's proven, you know, everything to me that they can execute on a high level and uh, execute better than the market. So that's why I expect these things to come true and not really these things in my personal opinion if we're looking at the next five years. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, let me know your opinion down there in the comment section about Tesla stock. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed, as always. Thank you for watching and have a great day.